Yo, this is Insecure Season 2, Episode 2, Hella Questions. Tasha, come on. Everybody knew you was the rebound chick, but you, you should have seen this shit coming. Now, I'm not blaming Tasha at all. I'm just saying, you know, you gotta protect yourself from this shit. And everybody wants to hate Tasha. Well, uh, Team Issa wants to hate Tasha. But everybody knows damn well there's actually no real reason to hate her. We're just supposed to because she's not Issa. So everybody looks for reasons. You know, they call her basic. And yeah, I called her simple. She is simple and basic. But first of all, Lawrence is basic as fuck too. But that's besides the point. We gotta stop attacking Tasha, y'all. She ain't really do shit wrong except not be Issa. And Lawrence is gonna break her heart. She already too caught up offering this nigga plates and shit. You hungry? Don't get that nigga no food. Not even fucking Belvita shells and cheese. Whatever the fuck y'all basic ass is in there cooking. Anyway, I don't know what the fuck this nigga Lawrence is doing, but he's confused and he's all up in his feelings, which y'all gonna stop mocking him for that shit too. If only more men were like Lawrence. I won't go into that, but it's not a crime to be a man who's honest with himself and others. These fuck boys can learn a thing or two. At least he apologized to her, which, you know, honestly, it makes him more likable. Damn it, Lawrence. Molly is finally venting to her therapist, even though it's only about work. But her therapist was like, girl, you talking about an awful lot of what should be happening and not what's happening in real life. You need to get your motherfucking life. You done dreamed up some shit in your head. What you gonna do when those dreams don't come true? She said Molly had magical thinking. That's the fucking term I ain't never heard, but shit, don't we all? I can tell you one thing. The biggest reality check my therapist gave me was that we aren't owed anything. Shit changed my life. But Molly has, has decided she, you know, gonna force this shit anyway. I mean, you know, I, and I understand her trying, but she's trying to, you know, get herself invited to the boys club, you know, by hitting up a hockey game with these white men. I'm yelling at the screen, don't do it, girl. That shit don't work. Ask Tiger Woods. Don't sell yourself short, boo. Now she done offered herself up to Hannah, the chick that went to Chicago, I guess she, you know, figured out them white boys don't want nothing to do with her. So I guess this is plan B. Issa, so yeah, finding out your ex has a new boo in front of your friends, that shit's traumatizing. And and now, you know, she is like, she can't help checking out Tasha's Instagram. No thanks to Molly and Kelly. And we see how that turned out, okay? That shit can lead to stalking and acting like a fuckboy on Tinder. Ladies, you gotta resist. Nothing good ever comes of that, okay? Shout out to Molly for accidentally on purpose bumping into Lawrence and hitting him up with the survey questions. I'm not saying it was a good idea. I'm just saying, I mean, I know um, Issa put her up, up to it, but I'm just saying Molly's a ride or die friend. You know, she's like, hey, Issa cheated, but she's not a cheater. Okay, that's a logical way to look at this. You know, she she made this one mistake. That's not her thing. All these Team Lawrence people, all these Team Lawrence men especially, are the same people who want Tasha to get back with Ghost. Okay, I know that's another show, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And we don't have to discuss the details here. It's obvious what's happening. Men expect women to accept heartache and pain and move the fuck on from it. That's their version of ride or die they applaud that shit and be like that's why you single because you don't let your man cheat but they can't handle even the thoughts of the reverse so anyway like i was saying she cheated but she's not a cheater i get it i mean i i get what she means from Issa's point of view but lawrence he has every right not to trust Issa again so what the fuck can we do just sit back and watch this shit play out you know, let me know what you think. Um, leave a comment. Follow me on Twitter at moviebuffchick1. Like, subscribe. See you next week.